Hi, I'm Ashley, and this is Mia. In this video, we'll learn about compound subjects and predicates. You ready? Let's go. You already know that a sentence is a group of words that expresses a complete thought, like Lewis is playing soccer. A sentence has a subject that tells who or what the sentence is about and a predicate that gives us more information about the subject. The predicate always contains a verb. But sometimes the subject isn't quite that simple. What if our sentence is Lewis and his friends are playing soccer? Our predicate is are playing soccer, but our subject is now Lewis and his friends. We actually have two subjects joined with the coordinating conjunction and. We call this kind of subject a compound subject. A compound subject contains two or more subjects joined by a coordinating conjunction. Both of the subjects share the same predicate. Let's find the compound subject in this sentence. Kara and Esther are reading together. Well, I know that are reading together is the predicate. It contains the verbs are and reading. So that makes Kara and Esther the subject. And it's a compound subject because the sentence is about two people and their names are joined with the coordinating conjunction and. Let's try another. Rusty and Socks like to play. Did you spot it? The sentence is about both Rusty and Socks. Rusty and Socks is a compound subject and they share the same predicate, like to play. Okay, last compound subject. Markers, paints, and colored pencils make my work colorful. The compound subject is markers, paints, and colored pencils. This sentence is about three things that all share the same predicate, make my work colorful. Remember, a compound subject contains two or more subjects joined by a coordinating conjunction. If we have more than two subjects, we separate them with commas. You may have already guessed that sentences can also have compound predicates. A compound predicate contains two or more verbs or verb phrases that are joined by a coordinating conjunction. These predicates share the same subject. For example, in the sentence, Malachi dribbled the ball and ran toward the basket, we have one subject, Malachi doing two different things. He dribbled to the ball and ran toward the basket. These two verb phrases are joined by the coordinating conjunction and. Let's see if you can spot the compound predicate in this sentence. Allie hangs from the bar and points her toes. Our subject is Allie and she hangs from the bar and points her toes. Those two predicates are joined together by the coordinating conjunction and. Okay, one more, let's look at this sentence. Kids play, eat, or talk at the park. Remember, a compound predicate contains two or more verbs or verb phrases. The subject here is kids, and what do the kids do? Kids play, kids eat, or kids talk at the park. Notice that the word or is the coordinating conjunction, joining these three predicates to their one subject. Also notice that when we have more than two verbs, we use commas to keep them separate. Mia and I think it's time to review. 
Hey, did you notice my compound subject, Mia and I? <laughs> Remember, a compound subject is two or more subjects joined by a coordinating conjunction, and both of these subjects share the same predicate. And we have a compound predicate when we have two or more verbs or verb phrases joined by a coordinating conjunction. And both of these predicates share the same subject. Just one more reminder, always be clever. Hey.